Hello guys, welcome to a new series I'm sort of doing, not really a series, but a new f couple of episodes I'm going to do, and it's going to be where I sort of review teams, preview teams for Football Manager 14, give you my advice, even though it's probably going to be bad, uh, and tell you what I would do if I was the manager of the team, and the team I'm looking at first is United, Manchester United, because... The king has left. The king has stepped down from his throne, and they need someone to take them or keep them at the top of English football. David Moyes, so far in the league, is struggling. He's struggling, and I think the criticism has been reasonably harsh. I think United are in a phase, a sort of rebellion phase, as the 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 father figure, the the discipline, the strict figure has left. And now it's sort of like a kid when their parents go on holiday or something. Now they've gone a bit crazy. They've gone a bit wild. They, they've, they're they starting to lose their discipline. But I think David Moyes can dig that back into them. Uh, and he will regain control of Man United. I think, you know, you just got to give him time. You've got, got to let stuff gel. I mean, Ferguson struggled at the beginning at Man United. You know, Moyes deserves a chance. You know, he deserves some time. He deserves a lot of time. It's a good team. And it's just about making that transition from the Fergie period to the Moyes period and I do believe that there will be or there should be a Moyes period he's a great manager and he deserves a chance but on to football manager let's have a look at the team they, they've got a good team United but they are sort of leaning towards the, the Inter Milan days where of recent times where Inter Milan ended up with a lot of all their good players were old and that is happening to United slightly at the moment. They've got a younger generation which could step up, but the younger generation is not looking that good at the moment. Uh, they're still relying on their, their old dogs. Um, obvious obvious point, place to look at first is the centre-backs, Vidic and Ferdinand, both two of the best centre-backs, probably the best centre-back pairing of recent times, Vidic and Ferdinand, but they are both old now. Uh, and they're both going to start losing their physical stats quickly. As soon as you start the game, they're going to start off great players, but after a few months, you know, you're going to realise straight away that they're going to start losing their physical stats. Uh, and it's a shame because you won't be able to experience having the two great pairing, the, the great pairing for long. Um, you've also got Johnny Evans at centre back. Um, he's not going to win you the league, is he? He's a good, he's a good backup player, but. He's not world class. Uh, and you've got these two here who I think also have been underrated and over criticised, I'll say. Phil Jones, you know, he's going to be quality in this game. And I think he will be in real life. And Chris Smalling. And I definitely think there is a potential for another Ferdinand and Vidic partnership. Two great players there. And I think Fergie saw that. And I think, you know, Fergie still believes that them two would or would believe that them two will make a great pairing in the future. Uh, in my opinion, they could be England's back, you know, two centre backs of the future. Um, obviously, there's a bit of competition from there. Kulka stepping up a bit. Uh, th there's a lot of centre backs that out there at the moment which could step up. Uh, but I definitely think they're in the front, the front, there in pole position for uh, England's centre back position. Uh, we need them to step up as soon as possible. Really, we are a bit short in that position after Terry and Ferdinand's uh, faded away from the England team. Um, and the other position I think that needs strengthening, uh, it's needed strengthening for a while at United, is uh, the attacking midfielder role. Uh, I'm going to show you my shortlist. Uh, I've done a bit of scouting, and these are the players I would buy. Well, obviously not all of them, but these are the players I would look at if I was in charge of United. Centre-backs and attacking midfielders. First one I want to show you is Rafael Varane. Um... He is a quality centre back, and you can pick him up on this game for a reasonable price, 40 million. I reckon you'll get him for, you know, uh, 35 maybe if you paid up front, a bit of negotiation, and uh, 40, 40, 45 if you paid in instalments, which is probably the best thing to do if United paying instalments. You're not going to have any financial problems at United. Boschetti is a good cheap option if you want a cheap option. I think he's a quality player. I like a centre back who is sick in the air and has got pace. Um, he's a quality centre back. Only rated two stars. I think that's harsh. I think he'll do a job for you. I think he really would. If you're looking for a youngster, Dolia, the Brazilian. I think he's going to be the Dede of this game. Last season, Dede was OP as Fook. 
And this game, I think Doria will be. He's going to grow quickly. Oh, look at his, his attributes. They are beautiful. Great player. You can pick him up for about 10 million, which is a dirty deal. A dirty deal. Uh, best choice for me, Adil Rami. Um, 30 mil you can get him for. He's a great player. He's strong and he'll fit into that United role quickly. He'll win the ball back for you and spray it on. And uh, here's the uh, guy. I think he's probably the best defender, centre back in football manager of recent times. Last game he was OP as fuck, and this season doesn't look any different. Krigiakos Papadopoulos. He's not very good on the ball, but making those tackles and off the ball, he is a beast. Look at that: 20 aggression, 20 bravery, 20 determination. 19 marking, oh, so many dark blue stats there, and they're all in the places you want. Uh, great centre back. Papadopoulos, you can get him for, oh, that is cheap, 12 mil, yeah, for about 12 mil, I'd say. He's a great, he's a great, great player, definitely get him. For the attacking midfielders, it is my choice who I'll go for, Ross Barkley. You've got Shinji Kagawa, who... I don't know why he's not being used at United, because he is a quality player, and I think a lot of people, you know, would say, why is he not being used? But we don't see what's going on in the training ground. Ross Barkley, he would, he would do wonders at United. I don't know why uh, uh, Moyes ain't gone there. 25 mil, you know, is expensive, but you know, he's he's gonna be OP in this game. He's gonna be overpowered. Ravel Morrison, you've got the option to bring him back. He's, in, he's another good signing I picked. Um, he's expensive though, it'll cost you about 20, 25 million. Marek Hamstrick, another overpowered player on Football Manager. He was, he's your expensive options, probably are. Oh, I don't rate him that much on Football Manager, but when he's on the other team for me, he does ridiculously well. Good choice there. Sergio Canales, I've always liked this lad. Just the way I play, if you want to keep the ball along the floor, just play a quick passing game, easier the boy. Pick him up for about 20, 25 million. Roberto Firmino. Hoffenheim, youngster here. If you want a youngster, cheap youngster, 10 mil you'll get him for. Uh, I like his stats. He's more of a sort of winger, I think, that will cut inside, but he'll do a job in the middle for you. And, oh, dearie me. Uh, and the last one, Adam Lallana, if you really want a cheap option, get him for about 7 million. Um, yeah, I can't really say much about him. So yeah, with United, you've got a good team there. I think if you just strengthen those two areas, all you need to then after, then after is youngsters. Just get the youth system going and then bringing in a new generation to replace your old generation and you'll win, you'll win the league every year. Tactics wise, I think the 4-4-2 is the best best tactic for United, just because of their choice of strikers. They've got the four best best you know if you've got for four strikers in a team, the av you know they've got the best you know all four <laughs> they've got four strikers which are all top quality, Welbeck's quality, Hernandez I think is just a beast if only he could stay on side IRL, and Rooney and Van Persie. I don't know which one I prefer. I think I prefer uh, Van Persie in real life. Rooney in the game um, but if you want to sell Rooney uh, you could sell Rooney and splash out on a massive cam and splash out on big players uh, in this game you could probably get a lot for Rooney you probably get 50, 60 million and you can buy PK, Chiellini uh, I don't know why you know I didn't go for Ozil to be honest um, I don't understand why you'd spend 25 million on Fellaini and not jump at 40, 40 million for Ozil uh, that confused me. I think Erzy would have made United unstoppable. I don't know if he didn't want to go to United or Moyes. I don't know. I don't know. Erzy was the right choice for me for United. They should have got him as well. Uh, instead of Fellaini, I think, as well. But, what can you do? Uh, definitely a counter-attacking team. You definitely want your tactics to be counter-attacking. And abuse this boy here, Robin Van Persie. I hope, I help, hope this video has helped you guys. Tune in for another one. I might do Arsenal next. If you've got any ideas, put it in the comments. Any teams you would like me to do or any video ideas, put it in the comments. And subscribe. Bye.